Hi, this is Jamie back again with another video and today is an update. It's been a week after the Active Mobility Act has kicked in on the 1st of May. Exactly, no not a week, in fact exactly 9 days after it has finally kicked in, we seal off enforcement officers, LTA officers and apparently um, the latest news that I received from this telegram group that I just joined in fact I have seen so many news and so many different kinds of updates it's actually quite interesting and to say the least it's quite hilarious as well but um, yeah it's in full force now you have LTA green men everywhere I'm dressed in green so I'm your friendly green man sharing my thoughts a weekend. So let's just start with um, one of the very very important update and that is um, LTA potentially teaming up with uh, some uh, Cisco officers. Not verified, it's not out on straight lines but that is news from the grapevine. Whether that will pan out, it actually all depends on one thing you know. <clears throat> with the latest um, enforcement measures, you know if anyone is not it's not taking this as a signal to either change to a compliant e-scooter or if you still want to try your luck and scoot on the road and be extremely reckless then the government would obviously be forced to increase a more presence on in, uh, in and around Singapore and if they don't have the manpower it wouldn't just be Cisco I mean guys look you know they can easily deploy you know manpower or you know draw manpower from you know each respective government division it's not really that difficult um, and if necessary I think there will be people who's even willing to volunteer so there's no escaping from this you know I don't think it's something that oh you know I heard from LTA that you know this I heard that that, that, that you're gonna partner up with someone look okay they can partner up with anyone get over it all right so now that the law is out, I think it's really, really important that all of us just observe the rules. Three main criteria: your PMP must not be over 20, 20 kilos. It must not ex exceed a speed of 25 kilometers an hour. And it doesn't mean a soft cap. You know what a soft cap is? A soft cap means like in your Dualtron settings, your P1, P2, P3 settings, or whatever P settings that you may set. You know, you can ask the shop, hey, look, you know, maybe if I, you know, if I change this up to P3 and I limit the speed to like 25 kilometers an hour, they will not catch me, guys. Um, I don't, I don't think the LPA is dumb. Uh, I don't think the government is that stupid. If you guys actually think that by soft capping your, your your throttles and you know the LTA wouldn't know about it then the people that are stupid or dumb is actually yourself okay because you're just setting yourself up for unnecessary trouble and then your scooter is gonna end up getting impounded all right and of course the third thing is that your handlebar must not exceed 70 centimeters in width 70 centimeters you know there's some of uh, some e scooters out there that goes like this i mean like dude you know if your handlebar is that wide how do you expect to ride on a pavement and safely pass someone you know 70 centimeters is the width that have obviously been researched and they have finally decided on 70 centimeters so just stick to 70 meters you know why do you need such a wide Handlebar. I don't feel. Yeah, this is about. This is like more than 70, more than seventy centimeters. Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense. So, as much as you can, just observe these three rules and look, man. You'll be fine. You'll be on your way. Um, morning crush hour traffic. You'll be. You'll easily be on your way, and you will not have any drama. No one's gonna give you any drama. You don't have to give yourself stress over it. All right. So. Let's just uh, go through several things right now, very quickly. All right, so this right here is my Duotron Ultra, the perfect example of what isn't compliant. So this is definitely not compliant. Guys, don't waste your time, you know, trying seeing, uh, seeing the LTA enforcement offices 
you know, at whatever road junction that you were at, you know, and, and just start them, like, hey, but you know what, I, I just bought this a week ago, blah, blah, blah. Um, nobody mentioned anything about it not being compliant. So look, the Ultra will not, will fail in two categories, except for the handlebar. Um, it exceeds 25 kilometers an hour, it exceeds the weight category. So in order to safely be on your way, whenever you see any of these enforcement officers, you must fulfill the three criteria. Alright? What's been confirmed right now is that if you do have like a compliant device and if you actually have a battery pack strapped on in front for extended range and it's going to exceed the 20 kil uh 20 kilogram limit when they put it on the weighing scale, yes, these enforcement officers actually have and uh, they actually carry with them an industrial weighing skill just to make sure that your device is well within the weight limit. So if you actually have a compliant e-scooter and decide to mount a battery pack in front of extended range and if you get caught, your e-scooter will be impounded. It has to be carried in a haversack or it has to be detached from the e-scooter in order to comply. Again, this battery pack, or for that matter, any battery pack, if you strap it onto a e-scooter that is compliant, it counts towards what we call unladen weight. All right, unladen weight. So it, you will then run the risk of having your then compliant e-scooter getting confiscated because you decided to strap the battery pack on. So you just have to be really, really careful when you decide to add an additional battery pack or extended range. Take into consideration the weight of the PMD device, take into consideration the weight of your battery pack and make sure it is below 20 kilos. So again, this is an example of a non-compliant e-scooter. I don't think it's actually necessary to even try and hustle your way through a uh, uh, confrontation, you know, uh, hustle your way through when you, you when you come face to face with the friendly green man. Yeah, the LTA uh, green man. I don't think it's uh, worth your time. They have a job to fulfill. Uh, you have a job to do. You have to be on your way. You don't want to be late for work. Uh, and some of you might be, you know, doing like food deliveries and stuff. Just be on your way. Use a compliant piece because, you know, having said that, you know, there are so many e-scooters, PMD devices are actually compliant, you know, why would you want to bother trying to weasel your way through a confrontation by insisting that no one told you about your e-scooter uh, was not compliant. So it's kind of pointless, the rules have been there, the Active Mobility Act has been out for a while now, it hasn't been tabled but it has gone into full action and I think it's really pointless to just argue away. Uh, out of it, it's, it's just uh, it's, it's impossible to say oh, you know, we go by the rules, we follow the rules but look, we do have the Active Mobility Act to just keep everyone in check and look, there's so many devices and there's also one more thing that I've heard um, it's that um, many of uh, such uh, non-compliant PMP devices are going through a weight reduction exercise I just want to remind all of you that before this whole big hoo-ha about uh, PMB is being compliant or not, there is a reason why there is a heft or a certain weight attached to a device or PMP like the Ultra. Structural integrity of the e-scooter is extremely important. You do not want to perform some drastic <clears throat> weight saving measures, so much so that you compromise the structural integrity of the e-scooter. So I can't understand that certain shops might be charging a fee to reduce the weight drastically. But guys, be careful when uh, when when something like this is performed your e scooter. You really don't want to compromise the integrity of your PMD, and that will result in your safety. Uh, it might just uh, something might just give way. The joints, the deck itself, the board. Be really, really, really careful when you perform. Uh, such a weight saving measure on your PMB device. Alright, and lastly, before I conclude, I just want all of you to know that 
the Active Mobility Act is here to stay. I think they really do mean business. Do us all a favor, do everyone a favor. Get a compliant device, you know, I don't, I don't think there is any way out of this. There have been far too many accidents and we really cannot allow more accidents to happen. Don't forget about the giveaway that I'm doing, it's the Raptor. Join the Telegram groups, um, I'm going to be listing it all in the description box below. And remember, ride safe and I will be back soon with an unboxing of the one wheel accessories that have arrived but my one wheel isn't here yet and if you don't know about the one wheel, it's this skateboard like thing it's got this big go-kart wheel in the middle I'm really looking forward to that hope someone wins at Raptor maybe not from Singapore um, someone from overseas hopefully because obviously the Raptor is also not allowed this video has been a little bit long winded I will see you soon if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe Bye.